Welcome to Rodas Reviews. Today we go back to September 2017 when this album by Urarv was released. Uh, back then it kind of went under my radar, being a digital promo and all that stuff. But now in January, when I finally had to, time to go through three promos, I found this uh, kind of lost, lost pearl, which I want to introduce you as it is uh, one of the best albums of 2017. So, here we have uh, this debut album called Aurum. This is a three-man band which basically started in early 2003, I think, by Aldran, which is known for many bands, most notably Dirt Heim Scarred. Uh, also been in quite a few Norwegian black metal bands. He's a very talented and unique personality, creating uh, lots of different music. However, this band didn't release anything until 2016 when the promo was sent to labels, I guess. And uh, about a year and a few months later, 2017, September, uh, Svart Records from Finland uh, actually released this nice teacher bag, which I'm going to show you. Uh, so let's do a little bit of unboxing here. So here is the CD. There's nothing underneath the CD tray. Here's a tiny photo of the band showing the lineup all drawn here in the middle and uh, trees from um, quite a few bands on drums and then uh, I think Sturt is his name uh, is the bass player on this album and let's take a look on the um, the, the, the booklet here so Sturt bass Play, uh, plays bass, Tristas, drums, and uh, Björn, Aldran, Pinker, vocals, lead guitars, and Didgeridoo, it seems. This album is no, by no means a very typical black metal album, but you can hear uh, lots of hints to no score. As you can see, it's very minimal design, just basically lyrics and some photos here and there. That is all there is basically to see, but at least you can read all the lyrics of this uh, wonderful uh, Digipack, which in my opinion has nice aesthetics. So music-wise, uh, Urarov's uh, debut album is an interesting one. There's lots of uh, kind of elements which are familiar from uh, Dirtheim Scard's early stuff, so kind of a second wave black metal but not so much hints through trash metal. But then again, it's also quite weird, atypical riffs, which are not so something that you often um, hear in black metal albums. I think that all comes to down to uh, Aldron's way of creating music. Not just labeling as a black metal band, but not then again being this avant-garde release such as uh, this album has been, or this band has been labeled at some places, but they're clearly they are borderlines of you know avant-garde black metal, and through what this band is kind of leaning onto, and that is all all those ideas which actually make this album so original and quite fantastic. The thing is, all those great strong riffs are in place, but to kind of uh, avoid this kind of. Uh, repetition of sorts. This band constantly manages to break out that very box that is kind of a this Norse core idea and that's when this album clearly goes off-road, kind of off-tracks and creates a path of its own. And these ideas combining the two, not being too much avant-garde but not being too much that basic second wave uh, Nordic black metal is that makes this album so interesting. Not only the songs which are interesting as it is and these ideas which then again create this unique flavor to this one but also production wise. Um, all the instruments here are very kind of clear yet not stereo. Uh, the thing is the guitar is very much like uh, within my opinion at least uh, how I remember Dead Hands Cards material, it's kind of a rawish but not kind of a primitive sound. It's 
still quite clear and strong so I think very good for a black metal release. Then again there's lots of room for bass guitar which in my opinion is very often underrated instrument when it comes to music such as this and that is something I want to give this album some extra points so to speak. The fact that bass is actually heard and creating pads of its own instead of being just somewhere in the background underneath guitars and uh, drums, that is way too often to happen and that's a fortunate thing that Uraro has given bass some space to breathe. Um, drums are quite good quality and these trees being playing in many bands uh, already did great job with Asa Ground's uh, debut album 2017. Now she has left the band, so 2018 will be a lot different. But like I said, her drumming is good and drum sounds is also very kind of a clear and something that you can actually pick out those different drums and cymbals from all the chaos there is. And also Aldran's vocals are great as ever. There are much more than just, you know, basic black metal shrieking or kind of uh, how to put it, shouting and uh, not growling. I don't know what actually is the word to be used when Aldran's in question. It's kind of like a madman entering black metal and having this uh, wonderful uh, different ways in order to express his vocal work. And even more than previous, uh, like early Dirt Hems card albums, Aldron is clearly experimenting with some uh, different type of shouting and uh, almost like screaming. It's kind of a, where this album takes a little bit on the avant card side. Some of the, you might have heard his uh, vocal works before doing this kind of uh, experimentation of sorts, but here they actually don't feel like they are just in for the sake of being different. They are uh, ser serving a purpose and they are clearly spicing up the whole, you know, typical black metal vocals. And it's not like there's too much of that. It's only here and there where you can have this kind of unique way of expressing the ideas and feelings and uh, whatnot on the songs. So I think there's quite perfect balance when to use the, these kind of atypical ways of vocals. Now when all these production elements are put in together, the outcome is just wonderful. I cannot uh, really underline it too much because I think very rarely this kind of uh, success is achieved when it comes to black metal and it doesn't matter if it's avant-garde or whatnot. Sometimes just minor details get lost because of the common cause and that is not luckily the case with our room. Um, the album runs about 49 minutes if I remember correctly and that's pretty much okay for this kind of album. Even a little less would have been fine because there are some phases during the songs which kind of uh, feel a little bit too lengthy. Just a tiny amount, not too much. So overall album is a great one and like I said I want to give kind of uh, extra points for you know near perfect production, great vocals and these unique elements that actually make this album not only sound original but also great and having these uh, black metal ideas and uh, things that we so much love. Well, anyway, that's my opinion of uh, uh, Urarov's debut album and I strongly recommend you to check out this album. It's one of the most interesting albums of 2017 and still worthwhile your time. So go click the Facebook link below and uh, try to like what you can hear. And as always, if you have any comments, uh, or anything, just drip, drop your lines below and uh, more stuff to come to your way soon. That's all from Rauta, stay metal and listen to some good shit.